What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So we're getting closer and closer to being done with all the draft lottery teams and after the draft lottery teams are all done we got the Miami Heat to do and then we got the Boston Celtics. I want to do them as well. Uh, but really guys, I think after we do these lottery teams, I might end up uh, actually just uh, probably moving on to some free agency rebuilds and then maybe doing some filler rebuilds here and there what you guys want to see. But then when free agency kicks on, that's when like real free agent signings will start to be rebuilt. So should be a lot of fun. But uh, today we are doing a Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, Miami Heat rebuild. That's what you guys voted for. And I know Vincent Gaming, I think your name was, uh, was not very happy that he said that this guy's a bust, which um, I did kind of read into him. But it looks like the Miami Heat are super interested in him. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just see what it's looking like. But I'm going to go ahead and take him with the 12th pick here. Uh, will he be the next D Wade? No, probably not. That's a little disrespectful, but nonetheless, we will take him here. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. at the 12th spot overall. Welcome to the Miami Heat from USC. And uh, you guys also told me you wanted to wanted me to play um, what's his name at uh, small or at point guard the whole video, uh, Justice Winslow, which I will be doing. I already moved him to point guard, and I you know made his rating stay the same because whenever you change him to point guard, he goes down in overall. But I changed it back. So he is a 78 or 79 overall. I think he's going to be our starting point guard throughout the video. I'm going to try to make it that way anyway. But we have negative $14.13 million. I figured it would probably be something like that because this team's cap situation is, you know, somewhat horrible. D Wade did retire in real life, but on this game, he has not. And uh, so he's not going to be back. I made his overall really bad. So hopefully, no team will sign him because obviously he retired in real life. But when we look at the roster, look what we got. So we got. Goran Dragic and Justice Winslow. Obviously, Goran Dragic. I'm cool with him being our backup point guard for the season if we need to keep him. But I definitely want to start Justice Winslow going forward. Deion Waiters and Kevin Porter Jr. Um, I'm probably going to either... Yeah, we're probably going to play Kevin Porter Jr. right away. Deion Waiters, I'm not sure what we're going to do with him. I guess he's going to keep coming off the bench. Josh Richardson and Derek Jones Jr. I actually like both of these guys. Derek Jones Jr. has a lot of athleticism to him. And uh, he's already won a dunk, dunk contest, I believe. Or could I could be wrong, but he was in one. Uh, I don't think it was a very good dunk contest. But we have Kelly Olenek at the power forward. And then Hassan Weiss and, and Bam Adebayo at the center position. So we do, you know, we have a pretty decent roster. But it's not screaming, uh, you know, playoff team. I'm wondering if I should just wait it out and wait for this all this money. But then we got to have, we do have a couple player options that are going to hinder away from that. Hassan Whiteside, though, I think that's someone that just makes a lot of sense to just get out, get off this team, because it just does. Like, well, let's see what we can get here for Hassan Whiteside. Uh, I just think he's probably going to be traded this offseason to a different team that's willing to take on his contract for the year. So let's see if there's a team we can find like that. So the Utah Jazz doesn't make a lot of sense. The Hornets make sense, but I'm not taking on Cody Zeller's contract, so no thanks. Alex Lynn and the Hawks. Eh, it doesn't make that loss. It doesn't make that much sense. The Clippers getting me a first rounder for Son Whiteside. We can take Gordon Hayward, which actually, who's our small forward right now? Josh Richardson. So I like Josh Richardson a lot. I don't know if I want to Gordon Hayward. Uh, the Miami Heat were going to sign him, but they were front run, or they were in the running. We could just get uh, Tony Snell. Does he have a player option next year? He does. But we do get a first round pick, 2023 first round pick from the Bucks. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I want to do that Gordon Hayward trade because that would be interesting I just don't really want to have Josh Richardson come off the bench because I do like Josh Richardson a lot uh, Or we could play Josh Richardson at the shooting guard But then we don't start Kevin Porter jr. So that could be an issue I don't really want to play Gordon Hayward at the power forward So I'm actually probably just gonna take this Tony Snell trade. It's a little bit less money So uh, obviously his son wise his son being an unrestricted free agent next year But I'll probably just end up trading Tony Snell next year anyway, so um, I just kind of wanted to get that first round pick, but other than that, I don't know if there's anyone else we could really sign Gord. Uh, like I said, there's going to be plenty of contracts coming off the books. Kelly Olenek, uh, his contract's kind of bad. Kelly Olenek, I'm cool with starting, I guess, but you know, if there's someone else we could find as far as a better starter, that would be ideal, but I don't know if we could find it. So I probably will just simulate this first season. Probably not going to be that great of a year. We're just going to go ahead and just see how it goes with, uh, you know, I mean, we really haven't made any moves besides trading Hassan Whiteside, but when you look at the Miami Heat situation, this might be in a situation they're stuck in. So, Goran Dragic goes down one overall. Justice Winslow stays at a 78. Kevin Porter Jr. Um, hoping becomes really good throughout the video because he's a 73 right now, which is not that great. 
but um once he starts in the shooting guard spot i think he'll start to you know get a little bit better so uh get to the training camps i think the reason why kevin porter jr is not we just don't know what we're gonna get out of him yet because i think he was injured a lot or something like that and uh it's just not looking good for him and then he was suspended for something like i said i don't watch a lot of college ball so i don't know a lot but you know i know what i can so kevin porter jr has an a potential so i'm actually going to go ahead and throw this at justice winslow because he's going to be a big part of the video as well they want to start going tragic but i'm not doing that so nine minute rotation what's our system proficiency it's defense right no grit and grind so um we'll keep it at grit and grind that's fine justice winslow will probably even make it better if we start him because he's a little bit better of a defender, but uh, Goran Dragic at that six-man spot, I'm cool with. Uh, we have plenty of forwards coming off the bench. Rondo, <laughs> what? Why not? We'll go ahead and give Rondo those back. Wait, do we have a backup point guard already? Yeah, Goran Dragic does. So um, let's give this to... Actually, Kevin Porter Jr. is not even in the rotation, so we're going to fix that right now. So I definitely want him to play a lot more minutes or play as a starter, so we'll do that. Deion Waiters, let's get him a little bit more minutes over these two guys. Let's do something like that. Although I do like Derrick Jones Jr. a lot in real life. Like I said, I want Kevin Porter Jr. getting some minutes. But at the same time, I kind of want Justice Winslow getting a little bit more minutes than him. So we'll go ahead and run this rotation, hopefully. Uh, did our sister proficient go up at all? No, it did not. So uh, what about if I change it to anything else? Seven seconds. Defense goes down quite a bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and just see how the season goes. I really don't know who's going to take the reins in scoring. Uh, Josh Richardson is a great piece. Uh, I like this team a lot. Once they get those contracts off their books, man, they signed like a good max player, just someone that could come in and just lead the scoring. I mean, I think this team would be nasty. Like Jimmy Butler around with this core, I think it would be a pretty decent team in the East. But let's go ahead and simulate this whole season and let's see how this team does. So at the end of that first season, we went 29 and 53. Obviously not very good, but let's go ahead and look at them player stats because I am curious. On how it went so uh we had kevin porter jr average the most points ron Dredrick had 14 points so like i said this is a team full of decent players but you know it just nobody here taking over the offense really so uh we're definitely gonna have to try to figure something out there uh kevin porter jr led the way by uh, you know 0.1 goron Dredrick are probably gonna be gone this year but uh we did go we did have a very terrible record so player retirements we had d wade retire is good because you know kind of needed to but uh because he did in real life i should say i still think he could have played two solid two years and still look pretty good but you no know, it is what it is but for the draft lottery i'm really hoping we land a top pick because i really want to use it towards a trade uh we have the projected fifth pick right now and we go all the way down to number seven which is very unfortunate actually because i was kind of hoping to do like a really good trade so we have a grit and grind system but our trainer is trash let me go ahead and fire him get a better trainer and then an assistant coach. Let's get a better assistant coach. I do like uh, Eric Spolscher a lot, so I'll try to keep him around. And an assistant coach. Uh, let's go with Stephen Dawkins since you know he's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and sign that, and we'll sign him. I'll let the computer do the rest. But we have the seventh pick overall, so going to try to flip that towards a trade because, like I said, this team really needs a player that – or just really needs a player that's going to take over. That's what we need right now, so – Let's see if we can find that with the seventh pick overall. I might have to end up making a trade. Hachimura, let's go. Just kidding. We're not doing that. But 12th pick, Noah well. Tristan Thompson, Bruno Fernando. What else we got? Mohamed Bamba, Barn, Blake Griffin. And we have to trade another first round pick. Now, I might come back to that if I don't find anything else. But Blake Griffin, you know, wouldn't be too bad. But I don't know if I want him being my number one guy at age 31. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. So... First round pick from the Wizards, future first. So I'm not doing that. So that's not going to help us right away. So Burt Griffin was looking like the best offer, but could I possibly make an offer for something? So let me look around the league. Uh, not very good trade value for this pick. So that sucks. But Zach Levine, Kevin Love. Um, when I look at when we look at the timeline of this team, though, it's a lot of young players, though, at the same time, Kevin Link. I mean, there's a lot of veteran players as well. So it's kind of in the middle, right? So, but I'm trying to compete right now and I want someone to, you know, maybe mentor the young guys. Obviously Kyrie Irving is not going to happen, but, um, Bradley Beal could maybe be potentially done. DJ McCollum and Damian Lillard. You got Yusuf Nurkic, Townsend Wiggins, Russell Westbrook, 
D Book would be cool. Aldridge, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard. But there is one player I feel like, you know, would be perfect for this team, and that is Jimmy Butler. I feel like Jimmy Butler would be a nice piece to this team. Now, I don't know if we could get him for the seventh pick overall. No. Uh, we might have to trade Josh Richardson, though, which I don't really want to do necessarily, but I might have to in order to get this trade to go through. So let's see if Jay Rich can make this trade happen. I really don't want to trade Jay Rich. But I like him a lot. Um, I would trade Derek Jones, or not Derek Jones. I would just trade Kevin Porter Jr., but he's the title of the video, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, what about Tony Snell? That's obviously not going to you know entice him anymore. Uh, I guess we trade another first round pick. Tony Snell de declines and waive his no trade clause. Uh, all right, what about this? No? Okay, so maybe we can't get this done. How about a couple of seconds as well for Jimmy Butler? This is a lot of picks, and no, they don't do it. So I don't know if I want to trade that many picks. So let's try for uh, let's try for Ola Depot instead. Let's see if that will work. Ola Depot is not somebody I usually get. So let's try. Let's see if Ola Depot would work out better for the seventh pick overall. No, they don't want to do that. How about another future 2024 pick? They don't want to do that. If I threw in Jay Rich, no. Okay, how about another future first? And I still don't want to do it. Uh, two seconds for Ola Depot. It was like the trade I was offering earlier. And no, it's still not done. So I guess we'll go for that Blake Griffin trade. I don't know how much better that makes us, but... You know what we got to give it a shot so let's go for blake griffin although he's going to take up a lot of our freaking money i'm going to do it anyway uh they want my 2024 first round pick unprotected i really don't want to give that to him though because we're taking on your big contract of blake griffin so we just trade the seventh pick overall for blake griffin now i don't know if that was a good idea or not but like i said i'm trying to find somebody who could come in and lead this team to like i don't even know so jimmy butler was my obviously my first choice but wasn't able to get done. So, bam, out of bio is coming back. Qualifying offers, none. And then, probably, like I said, probably don't have any money anymore since Blake Griffin just probably took up a lot of it. So, go ahead and renounce Goran Dragic. Oh, maybe we'll have a little bit. Let's see how much we exact. Okay, we got $7.12 million. Uh, Justice Winslow, Kevin Porter Jr., and Deion Waiters. Uh, Josh Richardson, and Tony Snell, Blake Griffin. We have plenty of power forwards. Kelly Olenek, uh, and bam, out of bio. So, what do we really need? That shooting guard spot could get a lot better like i do want to honor you guys' uh opinion on starting justice winslow throughout the video so uh josh richardson i like him as the starter but i guess he could be a bench player kevin porter jr i'm comfortable being a bench player he is only a 75 overall so uh, we're trying to get better here so let's see what's out here in free agency anyway this free agency class is never that good so uh that's why i hate kind of trying to you now we got brandon ingram jalen brown but i don't know how much better that would make us um yeah i'm not i'm not really seeing anything that's going to make us that great or over the top buddy healed probably can't afford him i mean i could probably trade a couple of things and we could afford people like that but i don't really want to do that mike conley do we get desperate and maybe sign him at the shooting guard spot and uh have a backcourt of mike Con but we'd have to trade a couple of players a backcourt of uh mike conley and justice winslow see how that would work no that's something that it, it is interesting so what would Kelly, let's try to get rid of Kelly O'Lennox's contract real quick. I could have just taken those first rounders, but I don't think he's worth a first round pick. So a second round pick, I'm comfortable uh, getting rid of him for. And then Deion Waiters, as much as Deion Waiters was very good for the Miami Heat that one season, I'm going to trade him out of here. We're going to get Dwight Howard off the bench, but he wants $12 million. How much money do we have now after that trade? We have 20.72. So probably can't take on Dwight Howard. I thought about it because, you know, he'd probably be a decent bench center, but that's all right. So let's trade. Not just this one, though. Dion Waiters still. So, we need more money. I might go for Mike Conley, guys. I literally might. So, we get OG and Anobi in a first-round pick. You know what? We'll do this trade. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. It doesn't, now that I think about it. But it's already done. So, $29.49 million. And now, I like the idea of possibly getting Mike Conley in this. So, we need a backup shooting guard. Or probably, uh, backup small forwards are good now. Power forwards are decent. James Johnson probably going to go down in overall. But... I'm going to go for Mike Conley. I don't know if he's going to be that good at the shooting guard spot. Okay, we might not be able to get him. But $29 million, I'll give him like a two-year deal. And let's see if he would take that. He might not. So let's see. Uh, probably not going to take my offer. 96% interested. Uh, okay, I can't even edit it. Ben Simmons. What else we got for shooting guards? We got Jamal Murray, DeJounte Murray. Um, 
Body healed, I guess, would be the next best option since I just basically traded my other guy. So let's go uh, for Buddy healed, although I just backed out of the deal. Let's go for Buddy healed real quick. And then, oh, whoa, 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 let's slow it down. $475 million. I'm hoping to get Mike Conley, but he accepts his other offer. So he goes to the Clippers, which is fine. So we're going to get Buddy healed. So he's going to be our starting shooting guard next year. And then uh, we'll sign Buddy healed. And then a backup point guard, Goran Dragic. I might just sign him, I guess. $8 million for two seasons. I'll give him a team option. So we'll do that. We'll give Goran Dragic uh, the backup point guard role. And then backup power forwards, Davis Bertans. Go ahead and give him probably a two-year deal as well. Get some shooting off the bench. I guess we'll see how that goes, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate another season. We spent a lot of time this offseason. I don't know how much better Blake Griffin's going to make us, but hopefully it's a different improvement. Hopefully it goes well. But let's go ahead and just see how it goes, man. I'm assuming like this full season, and let's let's get it. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So we're in the last season, and we went 32-50. and 50. It didn't go too well. So Blake Griffin and Buddy Hill were leading the way. Blake Griffin averaged around like 23 points per game. But I looked at this trade. We have Buddy Hill, who I really don't really want to trade. Uh, but we're getting Devin Booker in return and we're getting TJ Warren. So you know what guys? I know that this trade is super unrealistic, but you know what? I don't care. I'm doing it. So we're gonna get Devin Booker. I want to make the playoffs at least once in this video. So Devin Booker next to Justice Winslow in the backcourt. I'm hoping it could be somewhat decent. TJ Warren at that small forward now. Either you know start the power forward or we could do whatever with that as well. So we'll see what we want to do there. But uh, actually might have just freed up some money. 17 million dollars. Definitely want to bring up back Bam out of bio, but you know, other than that, it's actually looking pretty good. So I was thinking about a trade, uh, possibly getting Josh Richardson. I was trying to trade for Jimmy Butler still, but it never really materialized. So unfortunately, we probably won't get Jimmy Butler. We have Brandon Ingram, Mohamed Bamba, Isaiah Thomas, and DeAndre Jordan for just uh, Josh Richardson. So we could definitely get a pretty good pay trade uh robert covington but that's not really changing much auto porter jr i did like some of these center trades but like i said we're going to be bringing back bam out of bio so i don't know how much sense that makes so probably won't do that so i might just play tj warrant at the power forward and that might look pretty decent how tall is kevin porter jr anyway um he is six five probably couldn't play small forward right um he stays the same but like I said, I don't know if I want him playing power forward or uh, small forward, I should say. They're going to play TJ Warren at the power forward, but we'll see. Center, I definitely want to bring back Bam Adebayo, of course. And then $17 million for somebody out here as well that I could maybe get. Maybe pick up somebody. Then Woody uh, wants $16 million. Wayne Macon, Derek White, Dennis Smith Jr. Bam Adebayo wants $25 million. I question whether anybody's going to give that to him. Maybe I could get like a decent bench player or something like that. To maybe get alongside with this team monte morris off the bench actually would be pretty key be pretty clutch that's someone i have not signed in any of my videos before so i'm gonna go for monte morris because he's definitely a good bench player let's get monte morris and now bam out of bio is prepared okay now we can't sign monte morris so we're gonna have to go with bam out of bio of course my boy first so Goran Dragic, definitely not bringing him back again so i did like the idea of getting monte morris but obviously that just went out the door so uh, where is he now? He wants $10 million. Uh, we're $9 million less than what we can give him. Would he take that? Would Monte Morris take that offer? And... Uh, can we? Yes, we got Monte Morris no matter what. Okay, so we could have got Alonzo Ball for $27 million, but not doing that. So Monte Morris, Devin Booker. Uh, I'll probably just move Kevin Porter Jr. back to the shooting guard, to be honest. So let's just move him back. No reason to have him there. And then... Uh, so we do... Do have a backup backcourt? Uh, probably backup forward. We're probably gonna Davis Bertans probably be the backup forward or whatever they want to do. I guess center. We'll probably need to sign you know a decent backup center. Let's see if there's anyone else out there. Myers freaking Leonard. Let's go. Come to the Miami Heat. No, he ain't interested. So, uh, Bismack, Aaron Baines, Boban Marjanovic. That is how you do it, guys. We are definitely making the playoffs now. And then. Uh, OG and Anobi, we might as well just sign him back and play him like at the shooting guard or something. So we'll do that. We'll sign OG and Anobi back, and then uh, we'll be good there. So now we're probably going to go ahead and look at one last final look at this rotation. Hopefully, D Book maybe helps us propel to the playoffs. I'm hoping it this team is good enough because if not, we're not making the playoffs at all in this video, and that would be kind of somewhat annoying. But you know what, man? 
I wouldn't be shocked. 2K just doesn't really like me sometimes, but sometimes it might just be me making dumb moves. It is what it is. I try my best. Not always a popular guy. Some people call me stupid. It is what it is, like I said. But let's see. Justice Winslow, I'm trying to get his potential up. What else do I want to get? I want to get TJ Warren's potential up. Get uh, Kevin Porter Jr.'s is all the way up to an A, I think, already, right? No, went down. So let's give him on tap potential. And then let's see what our starting five is looking like. So they really want to start Monte Morris, which I actually will entertain. Justice Winslow's stats have not been the best. 10 points, like four assists last year. So I think I might just entertain this. So let's see. They have Monte Morris, D Book, Josh Richardson, Davis Bertans, Bam Adebayo, Justice Winslow, TJ Warren, Kevin Porter Jr., OG Anobi, and Boban Marjanovic all off the bench. Probably just run a nine man rotation. I don't think I need to run that many players. So we'll go ahead and see how this works out. I think we'll do something like this, guys. Uh, what's our system proficiency looking like? It's a three star rating, or three and a half star rating, I should say. So we'll leave it. I'm hoping this team can make the playoffs finally in this video. Uh, unfortunately, if we don't, that would be crazy, but we'll see what happens. We did it, guys. We did three full seasons and didn't make the playoffs one time. That's right. I even made a desperate move for Jimmy Butler, and I got Jimmy Butler on this team. So, yeah, that's how... Uh, see, look at this trade. I traded, like, three first-round picks just to get Jimmy Butler. That way we could just maybe make the playoffs this last season, and it didn't happen. So, here are the player stats, how it went down. We had 24 points from uh Devin Booker 20 from Jimmy Butler yeah just uh didn't go as planned so this video has been kind of a disappointment I'm not gonna lie so kind of unfortunate to be honest um yeah I don't know man so I don't know if I could you know, simulate another season if it would do anything we are really old so I mean I don't know man I think I might just end it here and uh, take my L for the day and have you guys roast me in the comments but Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little moves that I did make. This crushables, I'm saying.